Hello. I'm in a garden here in Singapore. Oh, we got nice bogan villa. This is called a bogan villa. <clears throat> this is a jambu tree. In Tamil, you call it jambakai. Alright. And you can see a banana tree over here. Alright. Let's go. And this is a small mango tree. Okay, this is hibiscus, a red hibiscus. It is edible. So this uh, garden has a uh, quite number of uh, flowers and fruit trees. Okay, this is called chiku. The Malays call it chiku. In Tamil, you call it sapota. Okay, this is sugarcane, red sugarcane. Ah, there's a papaya plant over there, a small papaya plant over there. The leaves are also edible. You can cook and eat the leaves. Okay, what else? Okay, be careful of this uh, leaf. The sight of this uh, sugarcane leaves is sharp. It may, if you brush your fingers or hand your skin against it, it will cut you. Be careful. Can you hear the sound? Okay, it's sharp. So be careful. This is a mango tree. Okay, we got more bougainvillea over here. Okay, this is a lemon tree. Okay, it's a lemon. Okay, these are some wild berry. Okay, uh, I think it's not edible. <coughs> How do you know it's not edible? Because if it's edible, you'll see squirrels coming to eat it. You'll see birds coming to eat it. But birds and squirrels, they are not coming to touch it or to feast on it. It means it is not edible. This is how men learn from animals. Okay, there are more. There are more to see. We can take a walk inside. Hmm. There are some uh, berries here. These are wild berries. Okay. Now, these are coconut trees. Okay. This is uh, when the coconut is ready to be taken, it from green it will change to orange in color okay we got more wild berries here okay if you're not sure whether it's edible or not do not take and eat it okay okay we got a mango tree here. This mango tree is a, it used to be a big tree. I think they, it became too big until they have to cut it off. How do you find out? You can see the thickness of the stem. If it's a young one, the stem will be thinner. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, we got some other nice plants over here. Oh, this is a small and a beautiful garden. Okay, they even got a the scientific name and the English name for it. Indian gooseberry. Okay. Right. Okay, this is a, a jackfruit tree. It's very sweet and when the fruit comes out, you need to protect it. Okay, they got the scientific name. 
the Millennium Chimpa Duck. Yes, and there are some banana trees over here. So there are two types of these jackfruit. This is a jackfruit tree and this is also another species of this jackfruit. It's more sweeter. It's called Chimpa Duck. Oh, there is something running over there. Must be a iguana. Okay, let's go to the other side and see what else we can find. Okay, I found some chili here. A chili plant. Can you see this chili? The green chili. Okay, it's very very hot. They call it. The Malays call it chili padi. The Indians call it Wusi Milagai. Okay, it's, it's very hot. When you cook it and you mix it in your vegetables or your curry or your meat, it's going to be very spicy. Okay? It's very green and when it's very ripe, it will turn orange in color. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, this is a type of leaf. The, Mal the Malays call it down pandang. Alright, a pandan leaf. It's a, when they make a biryani or they cook any special dishes, they add this leaf for the scent. The scent is very strong. And we got more banana trees over here. Okay, there's a fallen one there. It's a nice butterfly. Okay. Okay, this is a fallen banana tree. I show you just now. Yeah, there's a young one coming out. This is a type of a yam. A yam is a potato. Yeah, you can see some bananas over here. Can you see some green bananas? Young ones, can you see? They have not ripe yet, but they are, before they ripe into yellow, you can still cook it. The lots of Indians, they like to cook it. They like to mix it, put some spice, cook it, or they cut it into circular pieces and they fry it. Okay, there's some, another banana tree over here. Okay, this is the aloe vera. Aloe vera. There are some young ones over here. And be careful of this aloe vera. The side is sharp. You don't poke your fingers or hurt your hands. Alright. Okay, this is a tapioca. A tapioca tree. Oh, it's quite long. The potato is right at the bottom. You need to pluck. You need to follow this. Go right to the bottom and you need to pull it out. The potato is the roots of this plant. Okay. How do you find out the tapioca is ready to be taken out? You see the thickness of this stem. The thicker it is, the bigger will be the potato. Okay. And this is a huge tree. Oh my god, an ideal home for birds, squirrels, iguanas, a nice uh, training ground for monkeys to climb also. Okay, this is another section of the garden here in a Singapore neighborhood. Ah, this is lemon. How do you know whether this is lemon? Okay, you need to use your fingernail, you need to tear a little bit of the leaf and when you smell it, you can smell the lemon, the smell of the lemon will be very strong in this leaf. When you are having nausea, you feel like vomiting or ha having a headache, this is a good remedy recommended by the old timer. Just pluck one leaf, 
use your fingernail and tear it and just keep on smelling it like how you smell oilment like you know oil medicated oil the same uh, medicated oils are all made from this uh, traditional herbal plants oh there's a pine tree over there these are curry leaf you can use it for cooking the smell is very strong okay it's a papaya a papaya plant a banana plant very soon it will be a tree can you see they put lemon over here some are vegetables and fruit waste these are all fertilizers eventually it will break down into fertilizers yep those are hibiscus beautiful red hibiscus okay there are more banana young plants over here another hibiscus tree a banana tree can you see the banana all the unripe green bananas inside there okay like what i said uh, either you can cut and fry it or you can wait for it to ripe turn yellow before you eat it okay this is a very famous uh leaf it's called the moringa very commonly cooked by indian families moringa leaf it's also a medicine leaf it's very high in iron it cleans your blood okay this is a jackfruit tree hey can you see a tiny jackfruit a tiny jackfruit okay <clears throat> another banana tree okay this is a leaf that can be cooked by the very common in um, indian cooking and they, yeah, i'm not sure of the english name but in tamil they call it tausa mangi kirai all right so i think that's about it for my singapore neighborhood garden tour thank you for joining me till we meet again in my next video bye bye